In the next few minutes, you're going to learn how the body protects itself from potentially harmful electromagnetic radiation, or EMR for short. But let's start with why becoming immune to EMR is vitally important to our survival. Today, EMR is everywhere. It comes from computers, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and now we're wearing EMR sources on our wrists as wristwatches. And soon enough, we'll want to implant computer devices inside our bodies and brains. Who knows what they'll come up with. Some people aren't affected by EMR. Others are, but don't attribute their symptoms to EMR sensitivity. Others have clearly identified a relationship between the, the time they spend in areas of high electromagnetic fields and then how they feel. Common symptoms of EMR hypersensitivity include a burning sensation, headaches, nausea, unexplained pain throughout the body, especially in the muscles, joints, jaw, and teeth. Problems with concentration, memory, dizziness, swelling without an infectious cause, extreme dryness in the mucous membranes, and heart palpitations. Energetically, I see a loosening of the fabric that holds us together and that channels life-giving energies where they need to go. Ideally, the energetic fabric of our being should be like finely woven silk. Electromagnetic radiation loosens the fabric so it looks more like cheesecloth. And when your body is more like cheesecloth, the fabric of it, unwanted energies are more likely to come in inside the holes. And healing life-giving energies are more likely to spill out. This loosening of the energetic fabric is of grave concern as it can be the underlying factor of so many different kinds of issues and conditions. In short, to survive, we have to learn to find peace with electromagnetic frequencies. First, let me paint a picture of the ideal. Ideally, harmful EMR, as it comes in, it should pass through your body without stimulating or causing any reaction whatsoever. Your body should ignore it. It should pass harmlessly through. EMR should be a non-issue. This is the state we must evolve toward. We have to learn to find peace with electromagnetic frequencies. Those who don't enjoy this peaceful relationship know full well the debilitating effects of being in or near sources of high EMR. My clients share stories of extreme weakness and debilitation, inability to think clearly, difficulty concentrating. They get hot, burning sensations, headaches, nausea, dizziness, memory loss, teeth and jaw pain, aches and pains in muscles and joints. They know these symptoms are related because when they come in contact in areas of high EMR, the symptoms come on very quickly, and then when they move away from these sources, the symptoms improve. So what are the lines of defense in your body? How does your body protect itself? Immunity to EMR begins in your aura, which is the energy field that surrounds your entire body. Your aura actually has several layers, and we're concerned with the innermost one, which I call the superphysical layer. A robust superphysical aura will deflect EMR, or it will absorb, process, and neutralize the incoming frequencies. This is a natural function that our bodies have developed over thousands of years of exposure to the sun's frequencies and also cosmic frequencies coming from space. Frequencies that pass through the superphysical aura defenses tend to be corralled in the joints, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, hips, knees, feet, and even the spine. The bones serve as another line of defense, so to speak. And this is because one function of the bones is to be a repository for unwanted energies and toxins 
that the body doesn't know how to otherwise get rid of. The bones are like the bottom of a pond, and stuff sinks to the bottom of the pond. If the bones can no longer handle storing the unwanted frequencies, they begin bypassing the joints and the bones, and they enter into the organs, the muscles, and the soft tissues. This is when symptoms become significant enough that people tend to notice a sensitivity to EMR. Or if they don't notice, and they come for a clearing, and we're able to determine that the EMR has indeed reached into the soft tissues, then we can help them connect the dots between the symptoms they're having and EMR as a possible causative factor or at least a factor that may be exacerbating other weaknesses. When the EMR passes through the aura, passes through the joints, and starts getting into the visceral organs, like the heart, the stomach, the spleen, the liver, the intestines, this is when I highly recommend that people use our EMR protection formula, not only to help clear the harmful EMR from their bodies, but also to teach their body to become immune the gemstones in our EMR clearing formula support EMR immunity by helping the body learn how to become resilient. You can learn more about exactly how the EMR clearing formula works in another video. My name is Isabel Martin. I'm the founder of Gem Formulas and the Gemstone Therapy Institute. I invite you to learn more at our website or sit back and enjoy another video.